In the previous lecture, we discussed Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and we said that the change in position of any object is related to the change in momentum of that same object. So basically, the less we know about the position of the object, the more we know about the momentum of that object and vice versa. Now, a second useful form of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle involves relating the time and energy of that object. So, let's conduct the same exact thought experiment that we conducted in the previous lecture. So basically, we want to use a powerful light microscope to determine the position of an electron. So this is our electron. So this is the light wave that our microscope uses. This is the scope of our microscope and this is the eye of the observer. So basically, to observe that electron, we basically have to collide the wave of light, the photon of light, with this electron. Now, suppose that the photon of light that our microscope uses has a wavelength given by lambda, which is approximately equal to the change in position of that electron during the collision between the photon and the electron. So basically, the photon of light collides with the electron, the electron changes in position given by delta x. So delta x represents the uncertainty in our position of the electron and we're assuming this is approximately equal to lambda, the wavelength of the light used. Now, since the photon travels with the velocity given by c, the speed of light in a vacuum, following the collision of the photon and the electron, it will take the photon a time interval of delta t to travel an, un an uncertainty distance given by delta x. So delta t is equal to the distance traveled by our photon delta x divided by c, the speed of that photon. Now because we assume this fact, we see that delta x is approximately equal to lambda divided by c. And let's call this equation 1. Now, during the collision between the electron and our photon of light, some of that energy that the photon has is transferred to that electron. Now, the uncertainty in energy that is travel that is transferred from the photon to the electron is given by this equation. Delta E is approximately equal to H. Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. And since frequency is equal to C divided by lambda, we replace uh, F with C divided by lambda. So we see that the change in energy or the uncertainty of the energy during our collision is approximately equal to H multiplied by C divided by lambda, where lambda is the wavelength of light used. Let's call this equation 2. Now if we take equation 1 and multiply equation 1 by equation 2, we get the following result. So delta T multiplied by delta E, delta T is lambda divided by C, and delta E is HC divided by lambda. The C's cancel, the lambdas cancel, and we see that our delta T multiplied by delta E is approximately equal to H Planck's constant. Now a slightly more tedious and careful calculation will give us the following equation. We're not going to derive this equation in this lecture. We're simply going to state it. So, delta T multiplied by delta E is approximately equal to H, Planck's constant, divided by 2 pi, where H divided by 2 pi is given by H bar. So this is the equation for the uncertainty of our energy and time. So basically this equation gives us the uncertainty in energy transferred to an electron over a time interval given by delta T. 
So we see that the smaller the quantity of time is, the smaller the interval of time is, the greater the uncertainty in energy is. So in the next several lectures, we're going to look at a several examples that deal with both forms of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle.